Welcome back to another episode of our Senior Bowl scouting sessions. Today, your host is Hunter, also known as Burner, and we are going to be discussing and watching the film over Ohio State linebacker Tommy Eichenberg. So let's go ahead and jump into this with his tape versus Notre Dame. One thing about you'll watch a lot with Eichenberg in these clips is his ability to shoot the gap and runs. He also is very good at breaking off of tackles and being very patient when he goes into certain holes. At times, though, when you watch him, he does get pushed around a little bit because he has a smaller frame and he's not as strong or physical. So as you can see in this clip, he reads the run well, is patient, disengages from the offensive lineman and goes and makes the tackle. It's one thing about Eichenberg that he's also very good at is side to side line, as you see here, with his acceleration and ability to clean plays up and finish them out. He runs away from the right tackle, doesn't engage at all, and goes and finishes the play. As well, Eichenberg gets at times where you see here, he gets bullied over, pushed back just because he doesn't have that strength. Still does a good job wrapping up a little bit, but he also struggles at times with forcing arm tackles, and that causes a lot of time where he doesn't finish the play. And here he just gets dragged down. I mean, shout out to the Notre Dame offensive lineman there doing their job, pushing him forward. Here, Eichenberg does a decent job. He reads the RPL pretty well. It's something, though, that he does need to get better at to succeed at the next level. Here, I mean, he just pushed the offensive lineman into the running back's lane and pretty much ends that play himself. Pretty good job over there by Eichenberg. Here, he just gets ran over. I mean, nothing you really do there, though. Offensive lineman just gets good leverage on him, pushes him back, and then he's just toast there. Can't really say much about him besides, I mean, he needs to gain more strength. Otherwise, this is going to be worse at the NFL level because the Notre Dame offensive line is big. However, they are not NFL big, and it's just not going to go well for him. It's just going to make his draft stock even go lower if he doesn't test well at the NFL Combine or if he doesn't do well at the Senior Bowl next week. Another thing with him is that his coverage, zone coverage is terrible. And zone coverage, a lot of the times, he does get lost. Here, though, he does make a great job. He reads the quarterback, sees the running back come out of the backfield with him in the corner coming to make the tackle, makes the play pretty much irrelevant. And you can see him beforehand signaling to the defense, the other linebacker, shift over, shift over to cover that side of the field, leaving just the left side over. Great job by Sam Hartman there to avoid the sack and throw the ball to get some yardage. But overall, good job by Eichenberg to maintain his spot have great communication with other teammates uh, to make the play happen. Here, though, as well, he reads the RPO wrong, which, again, he does a lot. By the time he sees where the ball is going, it's too late, and 76 has him pushed upfield, so he's pretty much irrelevant. Here as well, here's his zone coverage. He's got to know that he's got to drop back there as the backer. He sees all the uh, people on the right side. It's pretty much a full vertical play. This is going right over his head. But in zone coverage, he just doesn't read it well. Now, here in soft kind of man, he does read it well. He goes with the tight end perfectly, takes him out of the play, and does a great job coming back over here to help out once Sam Hartman escapes the pocket. Here's another angle from it. He draws back. He reads Sam Hartman, sees he starts to go to this side. Once he does that, and then when he comes back over, he comes over and helps the rest of his team cover the sideline, make that play pretty much be easy, and... Now let's go ahead and take a look at his scouting report that I have came up with. For strengths, obviously he has above average athleticism compared to guys like Nathaniel Watson, Curtis Jacobs in this class. He can be developed pretty quickly in the NFL if he can become a better tackler and add some strength overall. He's always going to go hard. He has great sideline to sideline pursuit and acceleration. Obviously in a man coverage, he can take tight ends out the play. In zone coverage, if he can just get better at backing up and covering past his head, He'll be perfectly fine. He does a good job also taking running backs out of the backfield and making them irrelevant on pass plays. However, at the next level, he's going to need to become a better tackler. Otherwise, when he goes against guys like Josh Jacobs, Saquon Barkley, even Derrick Henry, depending on where Derrick Henry goes next year, he's going to get ran over a lot, and he's going to miss those type of tackles. Um, and play action and simple run plays, he does struggle to find the ball a lot, where he just gets pushed back, and by the time he finds it, he's completely out of the play. Now, there's some times where he does make good instinctive plays and he shoots the gap, and a lot of the time he actually is right on those. However, when he does get blocked on those, he's out of the play. 
And then obviously you can see with his college stats, he's played 37 games, only three and a half sacks. That's because he lacks any type of pass rush moves. And if he's going to have any at the next level, he's going to have to gain some moves to sustain any success. And then let's go ahead and look at his team fits here. I do like his fit in Detroit with Jack Campbell and the other other linebackers in that group. I also like them in Tampa as Tampa's probably going to have to start looking for new linebackers as they're getting old and then with the Devin White trade rumors. Pittsburgh, I think he's just an easy fit. He's a guy who's going to go make the play. And I mean, when you have edge rushers like Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt, you just need a guy that's willing to go make the play and he will do that. Seattle, I like it with Jordan Brooks. Obviously, Bobby Wagner maybe retires, maybe doesn't. We'll have to see how that goes. But I think his fit there would also be pretty good in Seattle. Thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one when we break down NC State linebacker Peyton Wilson.